Hey there, and welcome back. I'm Kunal, and in today's video, we're going to go over another SAT math topic, nonlinear functions. Now, what probably comes to mind when I say the word nonlinear is quadratics. And yes, quadratics are a big part of nonlinear equations, but this topic covers so much more than just quadratic equations. So the first topic I want to go over is something that we haven't covered in previous videos, which is exponential growth. Exponential growth is something that increases at an increasingly rapid rate. So the equation for this for a function of time is equal to a times one plus r to the power of t, where a is your initial amount, r is your rate, and t is your time. So let's take a quick look at this example problem to help visualize this equation. Cityville currently has a population of 20,000 people. Their population is increasing at a rate of 5%, and we're wanting to find what the population in three years is going to be. So in this case, our A or our initial amount is going to be 20,000 because that's what our starting population is. And our rate is 5%, so R is 0.05. And then we're gonna set three as T because we're trying to find the time in three years. So now all we have to do is plug this in to the equation and we'll end up getting an ending population of 23,153 in three years. All right, next up, we have the opposite of exponential growth, which is exponential decay. Now the equation is pretty much the same, but instead of adding the rate to one, we're gonna subtract the rate from one. So let's just jump straight into an example problem. We have Gerald's gym currently has 6,000 registered members, but he's losing 3% of his membership every year. Write the function that models the membership t years from now. All right, so in our case, our a would be 6,000 and our rate is 0.03. So let's plug that into what we know. We're going to get 6,000 times 0.97 to the power of t. And that's gonna be the function that models how many members he has in year t. Building on the last few topics, we have compound interest. Now this is exponential growth that gets compounded more than one time. And to account for that, we now have an n which is the number of times the rate is compounded per year. So now our equation is going to be f of t equals a times one plus r over n to the power of n times t. Let's take a look at an example. Abel invests $20,000 into a mutual fund that pays an annual interest rate of 5% compounded quarterly. And now as the same as the last question, we just need to find the function that models the relationship. So we know a is gonna be 20,000 and r is gonna be 0.05. And since the problem says it's compounded quarterly, our n is gonna be four. It's compounded four times a year. Plugging it into the equation, we're gonna end up with 20,000 times 1.0125 to the power of four times t. The last topic I wanted to cover is with minimums and with maximums. So typically you're gonna see this in SAT physics problems where an object is thrown and now you're instructed to find the maximum height that object is going to reach. So for a parabola, the maximum height is gonna be the point that falls on the axis of symmetry. Now I covered how to do this in previous videos, but essentially you take negative B over 2A where A and B are coefficients. And now you're gonna plug that number into your function to find your maximum height. So in this example problem, our B is 48 and our A is negative 16. So this would give us negative 48 over negative 32 or three over two when you simplify it. Now we're gonna take that three over two and plug that in as our time or T and we're gonna solve. So we're gonna end up getting a maximum height of 58 when we plug that in. And that's all I had for today. Thank you so much for watching today's video and I hope you learned something new and are ready to kill it on the SAT math section. For more practice problems and access to a 24 seven online study tool, check out ACIT at the link below. ACIT is the ultimate study tool for the SATs and the ACTs created by Juni Learning, an award-winning educational tech company that has helped thousands of students take their learning to the next level. Get a one week free trial when you use the link in the description. Until next time, and good luck studying!